Adam, congratulations. Your last appearance against Stoke was your 264th league game for the club. Puts you in the top 20 of appearance makers. Does that make you feel proud or old? Makes you feel old, for sure, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, nice, no, it's a great achievement. Um, you know, to be at this club for so long and make that many appearances is, yes, yeah, obviously a great achievement. So hopefully many more to come. In this day and age, it is particularly a fantastic achievement. Now, 38 of those appearances came during a loan spell in 2010-11 from, from Spurs. Just going to show you the picture here of you on your debut against Carlisle in September 2010. Just tell us about the club you walked into then, what, what your memories of it, what, what it was like. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, it felt, it felt quite good because I, before I was at Torquay and it wasn't great facilities, etc. Um, I knew Eddie Howe wanted me for quite a while, for a good few years. Um, so I knew what I was kind of coming into. Um, I remember it was a good bunch of lads. Uh, welcomed me very well. And uh, I actually remember this, uh, this first game, I think it was 2-0. And I won a penalty on, for the second goal. So my dad come to watch. Um, yeah, so I was very happy after that game to... Uh, to obviously contribute and, and have a good performance. And the next picture will show you the season ultimately ended in disappointment, losing on penalties to Huddersfield in the playoff semi-final. Just sort of sum up that, that season, loads of highs and lows, I would imagine. And your goal against Peterborough as well. Yeah, <laughs> weren't the best goal, was it? But yeah, um, yeah, I remember that game. I think it was 3-0 against Peterborough. Um, it was an exciting game. Um, and yeah, the season was full of ups and downs. Um, obviously Eddie Howe left halfway through and then Bradders and Fletch were manager and assistant. Um, so I didn't change too much. Um, and then yeah, I just remember this, this semi-final at Huddersfield away was um, a great atmosphere. Um, and it got to go out on penalties to be honest. Next picture, back to Spurs. Premier League debut against Fulham. Was it a wrench for you to leave when you did? Uh, yeah, it was difficult, you know, because I'd been there since I was seven, so that's all I knew. Um, I, didn't f I didn't feel I got a fair chance to, to show what I could do in the first team at Spurs, so um, it was unfortunate, but, you know, I I've, I've took a different pathway and obviously I played in the Premier League for five years, so, um, you know, that was a great achievement. That was my goal, obviously, to play in the Premier League. That's every kid's dream, isn't it? So, um, yeah, but it's not meant to be, but it was difficult to leave Spurs for sure. Just staying on that picture briefly, you think you're in better shape now I mean, than you blimey, were then? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't even look like a footballer there, to be honest. I don't know if it's the top's too big for me or whatnot, but <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely in better shape now. <laughs> Next picture, January 2014, Eddie Howe signed you permanently. He's six games above you on the list of appearance makers. Just tell us about the influence he's had on your career. Oh, massive. Um, couldn't speak Lee hot enough of him. Um, just to give me the opportunity, you know. Just uh, I was obviously oh, I must have had about seven loans um, needed to settle. Um, you know, giving that stability. Um, you know, the first season that I come was difficult because I didn't really didn't really start a lot of games. Fran was obviously on fire, so it was really really tough. Um, but, you know, obviously we got promoted and then I got the opportunity there to play in the Premier League. And then Eddie Howe, just like, um, you know, he showed great faith in me to keep playing me, to give me new contracts, improve me as a player, as a person. Um, yeah, honestly, it's just, um, yeah, he's a great manager and a great person. And, uh, yeah, something that I'll, I'll never forget. You just, you just touched on it there. You only had six starts in that championship winning season. That was largely down to the form of Simon Francis, as yeah. you said. He's in, the, he's in the next picture. 295 appearances for him. He's 30-odd above you. Tell us about your rivalry with him for that position. How perhaps it made you a little bit more versatile as well to play in different positions. Yeah, obviously, like, um, I kept coming on, I think, right mid in the Championship. Um, and obviously, it's, uh, yeah, it's good to, to play different positions. Um, Sometimes, obviously, I played left back uh, a lot in the Premier League. I played left back as well. So, yeah, I think in, in the long run, it did help me. You know, to play in different positions. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was very difficult. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I mean, the team was winning every week, weren't they? So, I couldn't really moan that much, to be fair. And 
you know, Fran and I was, uh, yeah, he was on absolute flames that season, but, you know, we was we still were quite close, you know, it wasn't, wasn't personal, it's just business. So, um, yeah, we were good friends for many years and, and we still are. Now, one of those six starts, next picture was against Bolton when oh, yeah, pr promotion, promotion all but secure. Yeah. Did it vindicate your decision to leave Spurs, do you think, that day? Yeah. Yeah, one of the best one of the best days of my, my career, that. Um, I just remember going that to game. I, I, obviously, was it Sheffield Wednesday? The week before, was it? 2-2. My fault, gave the penalty away. <laughs> I mean... <coughs> After that, after that game, I thought I'd blown it for the whole club. To be honest, I was in a bad way um, because obviously we was winning two one, and I get, and I gave a penalty away in the last last minute. Um, so yeah, I, I was in a very bad way, and I on, and and I honestly thought because uh, Fernandez was suspended for this game, I thought to myself, I don't even think Eddie Howe's going to play me against Bolton because I don't know if he's going to trust me. Um, and it just shows like what a great manager he is to, to made a mistake that week and then to, to, to throw me in against the, for the biggest game in the club's history, you know, shows great faith, you know, and to play me in that game. So um an amazing day, amazing evening. Um yeah, I couldn't remember remember everything about that game. Um Puey with the with the chop that he loves. Um and it was a great night after that as well. <laughs> And then the next picture is celebrating the title win at Charlton. You've touched on one champagne moment, the Bolton game, obviously. Can you think of another champagne moment for you in your career here? No. Nothing will top Bolton. As, as at, at the moment, hopefully. Well, that's what I was going to say at the moment. You know, hopefully we're, we're getting, I'll get another chance to do that, you know. Um, yeah, it's a great day. I think I come on right mid again that game. Uh, Frano started, um, but yeah, and then obviously I had that that, little, that famous video that was uh, at the end that I put on my Instagram that everyone's singing my name and that. Um, and then obviously we went we went Las Vegas the next week, which was was pretty decent. So yeah, gr great times, great times, um, and and hopefully uh, I can do that again. Sadly, we haven't got any pictures of uh, the Las Vegas trip. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise you don't we want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mark Pugh yeah. is just 10 games above you on the list of appearance makers. The foodie footballer, is he mm, now? He's yeah, back yeah. giving nutrition tips to young players. Is, it, is he giving you any tips yet? Not at the moment, no. I think I, think I know, I think, to be honest, at, at the age I am now. But, um, yeah, it's great to see him. You know, I think he's working with the younger players now. And yeah, it's great that the club, you know, brought him back and... Um, yeah, I think he's, he's helping the young lads out. I see him the other week actually coming for lunch, etc. Just to see all the lads. So, um, yeah, he's, he's a, he was a great professional, great lad. Um, yeah, couldn't say a bad word about him, to be honest. Now, your first Premier League goal came during that epic 3-3 draw with Everton. And the Cherries stayed up that first season against all the odds. How satisfying was that for you? Because everybody outside of this town had written the club off. Yeah, I just I just remember the media, to be honest, were just writing us off. Um, I mean, that was every season in the Premier League that was writing off, writing us off, weren't they? So, um, yeah, I remember this game. It was special for me because I just lost my granddad like a few weeks before that, and uh, hence why I'm pointing to the sky. You know, that was uh, my first Premier League goal, um, and obviously the goal was for my granddad. So, um, yeah, it was a special moment. Um, yeah, it was a crazy game, wasn't it? Crazy game. Another crazy game in that season. The next picture, one of the high points of that first season was beating the then champions, oh, Chelsea. Gary Cahill there as well. I was going to ask you, has Gary Cahill mentioned that no, since he arrived? No, he hasn't, no. <laughs> um, I think we beat Man United, Man United the week before, no? I think so, yeah. And then we went to, obviously, Chelsea and beat them. And I just think that was massive in our season to, to get them six points against them two teams. Um, yeah, like you said, everyone wrote us off, um, you know, to go to Stamford Bridge and, and beat them and was amazing. So, uh, yeah, great times. Now, in 2018-19, you scored against then-champions again, Leicester, I believe, yeah. just after you'd become a father for the first time. Two kids now. What's fatherhood been like for you? Double tough. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. 
when I first had my my boy Saint, um, I thought it was tough, but now now I've got two kids. Wow, I mean, pff, credit credit goes out there to all the mums with two kids. You know, it's tough, really tough. So, and this was um, yeah, this was amazing. You know, just I had my Saint, my my son, three days before this, and um, yeah, to, to score the same weight was amazing. You could see King in the background clapping because. Obviously knew it was for my son, so um, yeah, it was. I think it was a bit of a crazy game. That I think we was. They were started to have a late comeback, didn't they? I think so. Yeah, but um, yeah, another another great day. Never forget that. Now, it was a month later, you made your one hundredth Premier League appearance against Southampton. You get your trophy there. Yeah. Just sum up, if you can, the five years that we had in the top flight and how sort of determined everybody is to, to get back there if they can. <coughs> yeah, no, was, honestly, it was, it was amazing. Amazing five years. We had a great bunch of lads. Um, you know, it was... Uh, every season was getting harder and harder, to be honest. Um, just the, the way it ended, we wasn't, I wasn't happy, to be honest. Like, you know, there was no fans and um, obviously the way Gaffer left and certain players retired after that and left and some lads obviously went on like Wilson and Nath left as well so it was it was a little bit sad to be fair um, but that's that's life I suppose um, people move on things move on and yeah it's a new chapter now and hopefully you can get back to, to the Premier League because obviously it's, it's the best league in the world and it's where every player wants to play so um, to, be, to get back to the Premier League for the second time will be absolutely amazing and you know, I'll be, I'll be working hard and all the lads will just, just to, to make that achievement possible. So, you know, fingers crossed and the way we're playing at the moment, I think, I think we can do it. So, um, but we know it's going to be tough and it's going to be a lot of ups and downs till the end of the season. Last season you donned the captain's armband there. How important can your experience be to the younger lads? And do you sort of feel a bit of a responsibility to be one of the leaders now you're one of the older players? Oh yeah, players? for sure. Um, Especially because I've been there, done that, and you know, I've, I've been promoted with this club before. I know what it takes, um, just to keep some calm heads, you know. Even the game the other day was was great to see from the lads. You know, I'd obviously come off, but just to show that character to keep going to the end. Um, that's what we're going to need now to the end of the season. There's going to be, like I said, ups and downs. You're going to be losing losing games that you don't think you can come back and win, but you have to keep believing. So. And then towards, towards the end of the season, if we're still in a good position, that's when you, know, the, you can proper feel the pressure. And that's when you need to stay calm and, and just play your normal game. So as, as one of the older lads, I definitely think I can, I can help the, the younger lads and, and get through this, this period that we're in now. This is the business end of the season. Um, but yeah, I do, I do feel that responsibility. Tell us about working with Scott Parker, Matt Wells, mm. Rob mm. Birch, people you've known yeah, yeah. from your time at Spurs. Yeah, I've known him for a long time. Um, Birchie and Wellesley, uh, obviously I was, I was here 15, 16, and they was in the reserves at Tottenham, and obviously I was playing up quite a few years. And I just remember training with them, and I think I played a few games with them as well. So, um, yeah, I've known them for a very long time. And obviously Gaffer, I played with a bit at uh, Spurs, been on pre-seasons with him, played a few games with him. Um, so, yeah, it was, it's, it's definitely, uh, helped knowing them, you know. When I resigned there, it was it was a big factor why I, I resigned. You know, I knew them. I honestly knew when the club hired them that we would have a great chance of getting promoted. So um, yeah, it was a no-brainer to resign. And yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy the way it's going at the moment. Gaffer doesn't tend to give too much away. Just what's he like as a, a sort of coach on the training pitches, if you like? Yeah, very hands-on. Him and Wellesley are very good tactically. Um, yeah, training serious. You know, it's um, it goes into the games. You know, the way they train you is the way you play. So, yeah, he's very, very hands-on and very demanding uh, physically, tactically, and mentally. So, um, but yeah, you you can see it in the performance, the way we're playing. You know how fit we are. So, um, yeah, he's, he's a great manager and a great and a great guy. Right. So the last photo we're going to show you. Now, you're only 364 <coughs> games behind Steve Fletcher in the oh, list. Not a lot, then. He's the club's leading appearance maker. Now, we asked him if he would pose for a picture showing how he would feel if he <laughs> broke his record. And this is what he came back with. And that's a naughty picture, isn't it? <laughs> is his record uh, in your sights? 
No, nah, definitely not. I mean, unless I play to 140, I, I think I might have a chance. But um, yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't think anyone's ever going to beat that. To be honest, like you said before, not many players stay at a club for many years. So um, you know, especially if we get promoted, I'm, I'm definitely not breaking that record with, with less games. So, but do you know what? I'll take that all day long. Um, yeah, what an achievement from from Biggin, man. That's uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a he's a legend, isn't he? So it's, yeah, I don't think ever, anyone's ever beaten that. Congratulations to you for getting in the top Cheers, twenty now, as well. That. A lot more games to come, hopefully. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.